Hello and welcome to Doplexus News. The Delhi High Court has passed an order to ban the sale of online medicines by e-pharmacists across the country. The order has been passed by a bench of Chief Justice Rajendra Menon and Justice V.K. Rao acting on a PIL filed by Delhi-based dermatologist Zaheer Ahmed. The petition complained that lakhs of medicines were being sold on the internet without much regulation, which poses a huge risk to patients and doctors. The Karnataka government is contemplating to offer 30% reimbursement against current 10% as an incentive for hospital staff apart from their salaries. This proposition is being considered for raise and popularization of Ayushman Bharat Arogya Karnataka. This move will be unique to Karnataka, which has seen 14,000 procedures under the co-branded health scheme since October. The Government of India is all set to announce the formation of a Medical Device Development Council. The aim of this council is to reduce India's dependence on imported medical devices and thereby boost the production and use of local devices. This initiative marks a serious promotion from the Government to promote Make in India for medical devices. The US FDA recently approved a mobile application which would help in treating opioid abuse. It is a prescription cognitive behavioral therapy which can be used in addition to other treatments under the supervision of a healthcare professional. This app is designed to increase the retention of patients undergoing treatment for opioid abuse. The US FDA has approved the use of a unique microparticle for the treatment of acne vulgaris. This innovative acne therapy involves the use of microparticles in combination with lasers to facilitate photothermal heating of the sebaceous glands. With this approval, this microparticle is now licensed for sale in both US and Europe. A team of a neurosurgeon and a robotics engineer from Ames have developed an advanced portable ventilator that can be connected to any Android device. It works on room, air and consumes about 100 watts of electricity. It displays vitals such as blood pressure and pulse. This portable ventilator would help in reducing the shortage of beds in hospitals where patients on ventilator support occupy a large number of beds. Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India will spend 2.5% of GDP on public health, focusing on women, children and adolescents. Currently, India spends 1.15% of GDP on health. The amount is expected to reach to more than $100 billion, which implies an increase of 345% over the current share in just eight years. Metformin is often prescribed as a first-line medication in diabetes. However, studies show that long-term metformin use can lead to vitamin B12 deficiency. Let's get more insights from Dr. R. Santosh on metformin-induced vitamin B12 deficiency. One vitamin that needs to be looked for in a person with diabetes. One thing that needs to be understood that in the journey of a diabetic patient, it's vitamin B12 deficiency that can really wreak havoc. We're talking about patients not only with diabetic peripheral neuropathy where vitamin B12 has been shown in different studies to improve the outcomes in diabetic neuropathy, but we're also talking about patients with long-standing you know, metformin usage who have vitamin B12 deficiency, who present to the clinic with depression, low mood, tingling and numbness of the hand, and uh, lack of concentration, irritability. So these, all these things can be because of a simple factor in diabetes that is long-standing vitamin B12 deficiency because of usage of certain drugs like metformin. Vitamin B12 deficiency is not uncommon in South India. Pernicious anemia is common in uh, South India. Hypothyroidism can be associated with vitamin B12 deficiency. And the most important of all is in the Northern India belt, celiac disease can be one of the important causes of vitamin B12 deficiency as well. So I would urge all my colleagues to actually treat the patients with vitamin B12 
even empirically because many patients might not be able to you know afford the vitamin b12 deficiency but especially those people who are having neuropathy or they are having uh, you know severe depression anxiety psychological imbalances lack of concentration they might uh, be you know well treated with vitamin b12 which seems to be the most important b12 defici b, b deficiency in diabetes thank you dr santosh for the valuable information we urge our community to share their views by commenting below these were the latest happenings in the medical field brought to you by doplexus one of the largest online communities of doctors stay tuned for more every thursday at 6 pm happy doplexing <laughs>